a nutritionist job is to help a client decide what foods to eat or not to eat now in the human body one of the most complex equations to a nutritionist will be the hormones in the human body both the male and the female you know as a clinical biochemist i've been working in this field for over 20 years now and when i work with the film stars when i work with the celebrities um the reason for successful outcomes in their nutrition plans or supplementation plans would be understanding the underlying hormonal issues for example the genetic test is now an amazing crystal ball gazing into the client's genetic issues from a hormonal predisposition for example growth hormone deficiency hypothyroidism graves disease hashimotos um uh, thyroiditis which is basically an autoimmune disorder where your own immune system attacks your thyroid you have type 1 diabetes you've got gestational diabetes as a gene in women so certain women are predisposed predisposition to having diabetes when they have a child endometriosis is a very painful condition when the lining of the uh, uterus is shed uh, during menses now what do we do as a nutritionist i mean there's nothing that we can technically do except maybe boost estrogenic foods improve iron in the diet but there's also something known as seed cycling so when we understand that these hormonal conditions exist both in men and women for example premature ovarian failure in females is a genetic condition and so what if you discover this at a very young age you begin to eat so pristinely well i'll give you an example we've had women who work in the corporate space they eat food outside every day so breakfast is outside lunch is outside dinner everyone's too tired to prepare the dinner in their home so they eat dinner from outside over a period of 3 to 6 months the nutritive elements for the functioning of uh, the ovaries is reduced fertility drops combine that whether you know if you have premature ovarian fertility problems from a genetic point of view so it's kind of a crystal ball gazing into one what are you gifted or blessed or cursed with in terms of your human body's genetics so you have this forward knowledge and then how do you change your behavior how do you change your diet how do you change your sleep how do you change your exercise and and it goes it goes into so many uh, hormonal pathways including male in the males we have a uh, breast in male gynecomastia and um, and male infertility uh, erectile dysfunction prostate enlargement uh, so many of these are related to your hormonal structure so when we ask our clients to look at the gamut of a nutrition gene test i'm going a little bit beyond and looking at clinical symptoms and say okay i think this person has an obesity problem this person has a hormonal problem this person has a pcos polycystic ovarian disorder problem or thyroid problem parathyroid problem all these are linked to your hormones now for me as a nutritionist i'm like a kid in a candy shop if somebody says i'd like to do the whole health gene gamut which means i'm then looking for the ones where you are on the back foot and then what are the behaviors in lifestyle and behaviors in nutrition and behaviors in sleep that you have to change so it's tough to accept maybe the outcomes of uh, you know prostate enlargement or erectile dysfunction as a male or uh, uh, you know ovarian failure in a female but i do genuinely believe rather than subjecting yourself to loads of medications um um whether it's in fertility or it is in uh, becoming obese and then taking a lot of medications for cholesterol diabetes bp it's better to understand from a younger age that these could be the higher risk elements and you take care of it at a very young age for those who are older i think you can stop living in deniability and get your act together by knowing that you have a genetic predisposition and you by getting your act together it means take charge of your exercise sleep and your diet and not to mention meditation too